still worth it to go for? Uh, I say yes. That would have been sick. But <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> okay. Player four things as these two are the two that are stepping up next. Uh, the other side of winners semifinals. Um, now it is worth noting this is helper 28th seed at this tournament. Again, seeding was random. I, yes, I did. <laughs> um, anyway, now here's a. Who do you think is favored between these two? Okay, player wise. I'll, player wise, I will say that player four natively has had more consistency in his seasons. The difference comes that Helper has finally found a character that's both A, he enjoys, and B, good. So <laughs> that was proven recently. A lot of people were sort of decrying Sora, but then... Not me. The results have finally come through, and that F-Smash, I mean... And C. Characters got to be at least a little good when the F-Smash works like that. Yeah, it moves crazy, by the way. Not only is it huge and has the innate Sora properties of being um, being needy, being very active, uh, but also it's only like minus 17 and massive. Like, it's a, it's a wildly safe forward smash to throw out given the range of forward smashes in the game. And now you just get to play the, the disjoint against Peach. Like, uh, Sora's juggle game is... Probably his best aspect, you could argue whether it be his juggle game or his combo game. Uh, but against Peach, like who can just be so floaty, you just gotta watch out for this stitch face. Oh, that was a sick pivot grab. Alright, pulling a couple of other turnips, you get a chance because Sora is a little bit slow to get back, but Helper gets to throw out interesting Fireaga there. I guess trying to expect an air dodge, and Player 4 sets up yet another ledge trap. Yeah, and look how hard it is to edge guard Sora. A lot of Peach players, especially because of her float, is such a good tool for waiting out any type of stalling that somebody can do off stage. But Sora, A, the hitboxes on his like recovery moves are massive, and B, he has so many of them. We haven't really seen Player 4 be able to take any sort of off stage play all the way to the bank, as opposed to Helper. This is three stocks to one, he's at 161. Player 4 just isn't finding that final piece. Oof. Yeah, I'm really... Town and City biting him in the butt there for sure. Have to see what they can do in a position like this. 172, you're out of every Peach combo range. You just need a... I don't even think a dash stack would kill, but reading the roll in with that neutral layer. Solid stuff from Player 4 to try and stow the bleeding just a little bit. Turn up in hand, but thrown the wrong way. and. Sora gets to take advantage just of how floaty Peach can be right now with his some of these nair loops and nair combos. I sort of fair in that case. I kind of like the dynamic game plan from Helper. At these lower percents, he's right in player four's face, going for those neutral air combos that can lead to so much damage. And then once he gets to the point where those aren't necessarily going to be that rewarding, he then stays much farther away, just outside or re able to react to uh, a turnip. But far, still close enough that he can go for things like Viraga or Thundaga and still get hits in. For sure. And we'll get to see maybe how much that game plan is going to play out or if Player 4 will be able to steadily adapt to it. Again, Peach just so hard to move around when you're not willing to use that float. And Player 4 double jumping instead of trying to float away or maybe do Did he the float cancel? He might have float canceled, double jumped. Uh, either way, it was a a panic and a half kind of situation and one that you have to just kind of respect Sora in because these are big, active, like disjointed aerials that are swinging constantly. Aerial Rekkas is just, as an idea, something that is so flexible and something you have to just be re respectful for. And especially for Peach in general, she kind of has difficulty with characters that have those long-lasting hitboxes. For okay, sure. wait, let's see this here. Yeah, float. Oh, no, it was just, yeah, yeah it was just, just double just jump there and he's falling back down to the ground. Yeah, float, cancel, uh, float to double jump, DJ. All right, small battlefield, uh, mid-Sonic song alert, but... No yodeling song, pretty, pretty no. disappointing. <laughs> but we will be seeing just a, a generally stronger stage for Peach in a lot of ways. Having these access, Having access to these platforms is so strong for Peach's own pressure game, and you're trying to force Sora to these platforms. However, uh, at this percent, at this percent, Peach uh, uh, down throw won't set up onto these plats, but things like Sonic Blade just might. Uh, 
Now, one thing that's really interesting is normally Peach's out of shield game is pretty good. You know, she has neutral air, she has back air, but the spacing that Helper is able to use with Sora's hitboxes, it never, even with turnip in hand, player four is struggling to, pu to punish that. For sure. The Ooh, that was interesting little interesting back air there, but unable to find a punish. I guess not expecting the cross up. Great grab from Helper, able to set up for another down throw, looking for a dash attack and finds one. Going deep with a couple uh, uh, with the Thundaga and Blizzog, but no, missing the up air after. That was the payoff with the back air. Wow, and it locked player four in place, leading into that grab. Helper looking fantastic right now. Are you, he's fine. What am I talking oh, about? Yeah. Well beyond fine. Yeah, I feel like being able to pressure with some of the, Sometimes I feel like Peach just needs to go into back air mode because that uh, that may be the... It is the quickest hitbox that can challenge some of Sora's uh, fair and uh, nares, especially how many Helper has been going for. But that fair and the turnip catch setting up for yet another ledge trap. Have to respect all of this space. Winky face online, but no finisher. Meanwhile, trapped on these platforms, they're... Whoa! Somehow fell out of that move. Neat. Um, yeah, it's like the biofoil platforms are just high enough to where you can hit some of them. Like it's like a, it's it's on an angle. That hitbox is weird. Man, look at this planking. This is uh, it's weird. Force kind of having difficulty answering it cleanly. And the fact that Helper has this big lead, he can just go ahead and do it if he's not conditioned to. If he's not told to stop. Yeah, it's hard to get Sora to break away from the game plan. That's why you need a character with some sort of speed in order to press the initiative. And Peach, while the damage output has certainly been there, multiple times reaching 170, Peach isn't quick enough to put Sora into awkward positions. Instead, Sora dictates that pacing and that tempo of the game because they're able just to continuously find ways back to stage and put on so much damage. <laughs> Sonic Blade. It doesn't matter if you air dodge, he's still covering it, and that's a death! Oh, he buffed an option, and that killed him. We now have two stocks to one cleanly, but with turnip in hand, we haven't really seen any crazy peach combos at these lower percents. Yeah. Alper is just not letting them happen to him. Oh, there's finally a down tilt into just one nair grab back air. Okay. Like, that's kind of a BNB at this point, respecting the Thundaga as well. There's so much that you have to worry about when coming from ledge, especially given Helper's uh, spell management has been really, really good. Always using Thundaga uh, early off stage to have access to Blizzard when coming back. And Blizzaga, insane spell. Like We'll see it again here, I'm sure, because Helper is... Oh, no, okay. There it is. Well, there yeah. It is there. <laughs> It's the fact that it has that range and it's so oh, quick. Yeah. How safe on shield is that move? Uh, I don't know the exact number, and if it is point blank, it can be. Uh, it, it is hella punishable, but given the size of the hitbox, yeah. most of the time it is extremely safe. Like so. Yeah, it's used <laughs> as a baiting tool. Mm -hmm. He and knew it, that he was, out, he was outside of back air range, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, player four was forced to drop shield and have to close that distance, and that gave more than enough time for Helper to just punish him. Yeah, let's do that final stock again, uh, please. Yeah, here it is. Please. It's like, we get a real good, like, Blizzard, not only does it cut the shield in half, so you're already in a mad scramble when experiencing this. I think back air actually can hit in this situation. I think Peach uh, back well, air is he, bigger. He gets pushed even further, I think. Oh, goes for down air. So, yeah, definitely within back air range, but goes for down air in an attempt to... Oh. <gasps> Lucky sevens! So if that if this was a Final Fantasy character, that means the next damage they would do would be 777,777. Real, real yeah. talk, unironically, yeah. I get really hyped when I see someone's damage at 777. <laughs> Uh, but yes, yeah, so that is that is an actual uh, thing in Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> <laughs> Neat. <laughs> Game and facts. Now, now people, do people speed run with that no. strat? No, it's way too hard to set up. <laughs> Except in the Coliseum. Mode. Kind of. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. <laughs> hey, look, RPG talk is fun, and Sora out here is a Square Enix RPG protagonist, action RPG at least. 
And he's certainly, and Helper's certainly acting like it, just feeling almost untouchable throughout uh, the movement in the air, the the weaving back on forward and back uh, on these forward and neutral airs. Not yeah. to mention the utility of Sonic Blade as an aerial burst option is just really hounding player four of, of how much he has to respect that. All right, we're starting to see a little bit of adjustment from player four. Early, like he's waiting out the counters, just being extra patient and starting to punish those options. The question is whether it's going to be enough. And really, those kill percents, that's when he was just really struggling. He himself is at 138. This could, his life could disappear at any instant. Like right now, possibly. Woo! <clears throat> Got to be careful with all of that. The back throw comes in to close out that stock, but Player 4 did do a really, really solid job of kind of lowering the lead and stopping the bleeding just a little bit. 97, like Sora's well within kill percent for as much as Peach's powerhouse as she is, and a winky face online is going to make things even more precarious for Helper if they don't respect that, going for a Blizzaga from stage yet again. <laughs> Here's the thing, like, he takes damage, but he's at 142. He's not dying. He's staying at the ledge, and it's so difficult for player four to actually find a way to kill him when he's hanging out there. Maybe when he goes past the ledge, that's when the weaknesses start to show. Yeah, the missing Sonic Blade is uh, the third rave is certainly going to be a, a devastating one, but good job on player four just to kind of take the take the slow route. It's like, all right, I'm only going to take get what Helper is giving me. Sora just has way too much control over his own mobility compared to me. So let's play the patient game. Also, I like the little up tilt into fair uh, optimizations as well as that coverage with down to down to up smash. Help playing so good once they find an opening. But player four finds their way back to neutral and finds even better with a turn up in hand. But just avoids the turnip. Yep. Just jumps right over it, gets his own hit in. It feels like Helper just, you know, you were talking about action RPG. Player 4 is kind of just, you know, Kingdom Hearts boss, and Helper's just learned the pattern. Yeah. Dodging it every time and counterattacking. It's so difficult for Player 4 to find anything meaningful himself. Look at this. Rolling behind and getting the back throw. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> anticipating the revenge value to keep the that uh, kind of a metaphor going, but still plenty of back airs to be had here. Great parry as well as trying just to keep out of range of spells, but that same range where Helper is just seeing that player four is out of range of most of Peach's offensive options and feeling so comfortable there. Oh, the counter on the winky face too. That hitbox is massive. All right, back throw. Once again, Helper at the ledge. I think yeah, he's fine here. He's doing great. Look at him. He's happy. <laughs> he's, 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 this is numbers-esque to uh, reference our lovely streamrunner company. Hello there. Hello. 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 Oh, yeah. Helper definitely plays Sora, like, similarly to how Wii Fit trainers like to play Wii Fit. Oh, my God. Yeah, that back up air is an insane move. Period. Like that is that is Sora's most DLC option. A big arcing knockback scaling move like that. Maybe second is that forward smash. As huge as it is, reading the roll, even from as close of a spacing as he was in. Helper with a 3-0 and a quote unquote handshake. <laughs> you never handshake player four. Exactly. You never he never <laughs> lets it happen. Um, just real clean from Helper, oh, it's like throughout. And so, interestingly enough, we're gonna have another anime swordsman battle in Winners Finals, it seems. Cause, wasn't uh, Maniac one on the other side of Winners Winter Semis, right? Yes. So Ike? It'll, Ike is Ike is technically yes an anime swordsman. Uh, what? What do you mean technically? I mean like, there's no anime for. Uh, for Ike, like he's not, he doesn't have like a show or a manga. It's just like he's just from his game. Okay, we've been calling Marth an anime swordsman. Yes, since because he has how many of these characters in this game actually have an anime? Even Sora doesn't have an anime. Sora has a manga. manga though. He's a manga. I know. I know. I'm already on top of it. I know. <laughs> okay, I've been read. I've been hard read. <laughs> you got me. I don't actually. That's true. No, we should start correcting people. Like, well, actually. <laughs> yeah. If I, if I really want to shove my glasses into my <laughs> nose, then sure. <laughs> <laughs> anime adjustment you gotta yes. do it <laughs> oh my god like can we get that edit of just like my face blurring out <laughs>